Okay, everyone, here is a review of these Creons. I was at Marshall's a long time ago, and I never really came to review these, but I am now. I know this camera has bad focus and everything. Oh, that can zoom out. But uh, here they are. They were $3.99, so that's less than a dollar a figure, but one of them is unknown, so you're paying about a dollar a figure that you actually know. These are, of course, from Hasbro. I think they're just licensed by Hasbro, but Cre Hasbro doesn't produce Creo. Um, oh, yeah, that's Oxford who makes Creo. And so you get a Bumblebee figure. I think these are CGI. These are prototypes. Then you get Red Alert, Mirage, and Autobot Jazz. You get all this stuff at the bottom. And so let's zoom in. Okay, yeah, it is the best quality. And then here's uh, Mirage. Here is Red Alert, which uh, his head is already into his helmet. Let's zoom this out. And here is, what was his name? Autobot Jazz. So, uh, not sure what these guys are in vehicle form. Tell me in the comments, and, or I might just find out myself. But I would like it if you would tell me. And so, and uh, I haven't taken out Bumblebee. So, um, they come in four packs. I didn't think I'd have to be doing a speed build, but apparently I will be having to do a speed build. But, uh, yeah. So, um, I'm going to be doing a speed build of these guys, which won't take long. So, here goes. Okay, I'm not sure if this is recording properly. Yeah, it is. But, I'm standing right now behind the camera. But I'd like to say, I know this camera sucks. It's HD, but it's the worst HD you've ever seen, have as an, isn't it? Look how different these bumblebees are. No, you may not be able to see it on camera, but first off, they're yellow. Jeez, it's so different. Bumblebee as a minifigure, or Creon, they call it. it their yellow is different, and also their... Um, Sorry, I'm just... Ah. ah, never mind. I won't do that. You might not be able to tell on camera, but their uh, face is different. Yeah, I know this camera sucks. Well, you can sort of tell their face is different. I'll take... You can see their face is different. Like, um, this one is like a different smile, and this one has different uh, shaped eyes. This one, they're like slanted inwards, like a Japanese person didn't mean to sound racist there if I did. But this one, they're like perfect circles, and this one's like showing its teeth. Just comparing these first. And then also their chest piece is very different. This one has much more detail than this one. Their gun is much different, as you can see. Different color and different mold. Oh, and also, the new Bumblebee does not have a little thing on his back, where the old one does. And no place to hold his gun. They're, the legs are totally different. Like, look, the black ones and the other ones are mostly yellow. They have black spots, places. Anyway, um, these wheels are not on this new version either. And that's what I would like to say. I'll talk about the other figures. I'm I'm sort of learning these things along as I go. You can't really say there's anything wrong with these figures, except for the fact that their legs are really, really stiff. This will not bend very well, and I probably could put some silicone spray in there to make it move better, which I'm probably gonna actually do that. Because their legs feel like they have a, so much friction. That's the only downfall I can find. Apart from the fact that... Oh, and there's another downfall. I'll talk about this. This was a mystery figure that came in the box. 
You see these little things that he has on here? I'm not sure what they're supposed to be. I think they're supposed to be like guns. But why do they have these things? I have no, cannot find anywhere on this figure where you're supposed to stick those into. I mean, on other sets, sure, but this figure, I'm sure he was a plane. Why else would he have those wings on his back like that? But why do they have those? But anyway, I'm not sure who this is. You can tell me in the comments if you'd like, if you know. And also, they have a hole in the back there, but he, there's nowhere to put anything. His legs are also really stiff. I could better use some silicone spray. But uh, he's got wings out on the back, so I just would have assumed he was a plane. And his helmet, I think, is actually really cool. Oh, and this is a figure where the helmet does not like to go off without the head. There you go. It's Caesar remove. Then the bumblebee, the old bumblebee. And you can see he's not happy, so I assume he's a Decepticon. This figure, whoever he is. But I might not be right, you know. And this camera does not have any focus whatsoever. Here's Mirage. I know Mirage, at least I remember, he is a Decepticon. And uh, he's got a cool, like, helmet piece. It's like one of the, the Sphinx. Is that what you call it, anyway? One of those ancient Egyptian from 4,000 years ago ha um, hats. And uh, his gun is pretty cool. It's like a Star Wars blaster gun. It looks like a drill, actually, on the end. And his back is cool. And he is not happy. You can see there. I think you can see there. And he, you might, probably don't see it, but that actually right there, that says 26. So tell, Oh, yeah, he's a race car, isn't he? Yeah, he was a race car. Now, I don't know about any of the others. I know Bumblebee is supposed to be a Camaro in the movies, but he's like... He's a Volkswagen Beetle in the TV show. Here's Red Alert. Um, I might assume that Red Alert... I think you can tell them apart by their... No, wait, Red Alert is an Autobot because uh, he has the Autobot logo on his chest, which you cannot see because his camera is a sports camera, and it sucks. He has a really giant, like, rifle. Maybe not rifle. It's like an assault rifle with, like, the huge end, and it's really long, actually. It's like... I'll show you in proportion. It's, like, up to his head in length. And I'm assuming, so he is, what is he? Tell me in the comments. I'd love to know what these guys are. I'll probably just go find out myself, but I'd just like you to see if you know. Here's the back of him, no detail. And so on to the next figure. This is Autobot Jazz, which you can see like he's got the visor right there. And he's got these, so I assume probably he's like, uh, like one of those trucks, you know, like that's really big, and there, ar there's an armored truck. That's what it was. And uh, he has a visor, but uh, he actually does have eyes. And he has a place to store his blaster right there. And uh, he's an Autobot, well, obviously because his name, but there's also the Autobot logo there. And I think you can see this. It says four right on its chest. These do not move, if you were wondering. And these do not transform. None of these transform in any way, shape, or form. They are going to stay as, like, you know that Leo video that just got uploaded where, like, he was talking about those plastic transformers toys that were, like, for little kids? Um, transformers toys that were for little kids and, like, there were smaller, cheaper ones that didn't transform. That's basically what these are. They don't transform. Now I'm going to go talk about the box. So the box is actually pretty cool. I might put them back in their box. Um, it's one of those boxes where there's like the blister pack. And it shows Bumblebee, Red Alert, Mirage, Autobot Jazz, and Mystery Figure, which I do not know of. It says ages 6 to 12. Oh no, I'm too old to play with this. Oh no! Oh! Ah! Three nine to nine. And here's the back, which, oh yeah, I already did talk about this. You go to Creo.com, barcode, you get the idea. So that is my review on these figures.